Course updates are a great way to share announcements and post reminders for your class. To post an update for your class, simply head over to the Updates tab. Any updates you make will be sent as a notification to all of the members in your course, and if a member has those notifications set to also be emailed, he or she will get an email reminder as well. It's very easy to make an update. Just type the information and you can add any files, links, or even an audio recording of your message. Before you hit post, decide if you want to copy this announcement to appear in any of your other classes. If so, just use the copy feature and choose your other courses by putting a check mark by them. Also, decide whether you want this update to be an announcement. The difference between a regular announcement and an update is that updates will only appear on this page, whereas an announcement will also be tagged to the top of your materials page. And you can only have one announcement update at a time. I will show you what this looks like, but to make an update an announcement, use this drop down menu and put a check mark by the bell. Then hit post. All of your updates will be archived on this updates page and your current announcement update will always appear at the top of the page, whether you're on the updates page or if you are on the materials page. You can always use the X to remove the announcement. It will still be archived on the updates page. Or if I post another update that I mark as an announcement, it will just replace this one on this page here. By default, when a student chooses your course's name from the courses menu, they will land on this materials page, which has all of your folders and content. If you would prefer that they land instead on the updates page so they can look for any recent reminders or information that you have provided, you can adjust this in the course options menu. Just choose course options and then edit privacy slash course settings. Scroll down to where you see default landing page and change that from materials to updates and save your changes. Now, instead of landing on the materials page, students will first land on the updates page where they can check for any recent reminders or information, and then they can navigate over to the materials page to begin their work.